an inner treachery, a toxic card, a band of multiple formats card, also band of multiple formats is Fable the Mirror Breaker. So we're playing all the bad ones in Explorer, where we are still allowed to play these and not get mocked at, not get made fun of, probably get made fun of, but you know, it is what it is. As you can see, they're not legal in historic, traditional historic and historic brawl, and then this is not legal pretty much everywhere else, but we are playing transmogrify slash luca if you don't know what that is transmogrify you pretty much make a creature token we don't play any other creature other than agent of treachery you make a creature token you exile that creature creatures the creature controller reveal a card from the top of their library until they reveal a creature card that player puts that card onto the battlefield and then shuffles the rest into their library so we only hit agent of treachery so we steal permanence if it's a slower matchup we take the lands if it's an aggro matchup we take the biggest creature possible luca so it's pretty much the same thing, but you can do it multiple times. It's five mana. My webcam's cutting it off. I apologize. Um, but you can plus. The plus is not really relevant, so we're just going to read the relevant part. Is minus two. Exile target creature you control, then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card with higher mana value. Put the card on the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Reason that's important. One thing to note. Transmogrify can make you sack an agent of treachery and will bring out another agent of treachery. Luca, if you down tick it on an agent of treachery, it'll only look for creatures with eight mana or more. So it will not hit another agent of treachery. So it's something to look out for if you are playing this and you are playing Luca. But I mean, the plus is relevant for the minus seven, but like realistically, if that comes up, that's probably a one-off game in one of the most scenarios. But how do we make our tokens? We have Emperor, Wedding Announcement, Fable, Dark Typhoon. Main ways to do it, we could sometimes cycle a Sokazan and a Mirix. We do have quite the amount of utility lands in Ganjo, Hall, Odawara, Sokazan, Mirix. Hall can sometimes just be a game closer on itself, but we can also crew it up to a 7 7 Ward 3 and then sack it to bring out of Agent if that's what we need to do. And now we're going to get into the games. We have, I think, three of them for you. Um, one, I tilt off the planet because if you know how Mirix works and how the auto tapper loves to leave it untapped, I, I lost a little. So stick around for that if you want. But I hope you enjoyed the games and I'll see you around. Myself going first here. This is a pretty decent hand. We have the verdict. We don't have a companion. So I feel pretty fine with this. Now pass. White land. Aggro. Okay. Play this one blue. You revealed that we are just guy. Now you will indeed get to make this fear. Okay. That can make this fear. Do we hold this? I don't really think we need to. We have a verdict to clean up the board and a wandering upper. Do we just buy Yorion and get it in? I think so. I also have a soul partition to like pick up anything we might need. That's not how that works. Unless you're just taking your turn off, I guess. Okay. I just didn't have anything else to do because I didn't play anything for two mana. So, here I guess. I don't do anything important. We can just make a 1 1. Now we have everything else to play as well. Guard's fun. Hang Vanguard. Better. Let's see it. Well, they attack me. Ew. Nice. Um. Here. 
I just take his turn off. Well, I'm gonna make a one one at least just in case I draw transmogrify. I did not so Back And flashing the Emperor give it first strike and a one one Maybe they'll play around and just take the one nope. I mean, I'm not going to I'm gonna vertical the forward of course, but Could have been an argument there where I like play the Emperor make it 2-2 have it jump in front of that then make just like another two and kind of play that game, but All kinds of bull Verdicting there Mutable I give it indestructible Now use lieutenant sure this will get a counter because it's all creature types so it counts as a human Yep. Well, we can't necessarily do what we want to do, so. And on blue. We can Emperor and then we can make the Spear or Soul Partition something if we need to. So we'll pass here. have a weird priority hold on Dauntless bodyguard that can sack and give indestructible we want an emperor to pretty much exile this mutavolt just going straight to combat i have nothing other dauntless bodyguard for indestructibility good what do you choose him that makes sense I think that makes sense to me. My drops tend to get around make this fear, that's for sure. That will not get around make this fear. Counter that. Be able to do some shenanigans here, hopefully. We'll play Emperor Exile something, and then we'll play Yorion, flicker the Emperor, exile something else. Comes in. We'll exile the Mutavolt, of course. On his bodyguard, only gives it indestructible, not protection. So, get rid of the land that's generally hard for us to interact with. Oh, feels pretty nice. Any treachery feels good, sort of. But, Dorian, just stop on her in step so we get to respond. It could play Brutal Cathar, so we're not necessarily out of the woods. We just feel pretty comfortable where we're at. And Dolan's Bodyguards causing the pauses here. I resolve this. We'll enter. We'll minus two here. These are like fine. In comparison to how big a Thalia's Lieutenant can get, so we'll definitely exile it and get it out of the way. We're good. So. All right. Cool. grinding that game out. Very nice. Pretty. Huh. Look at that. I just said... Dude, it took a really long time to find a match for some reason. But I just said I've played a lot of games. I haven't had a Luka once, and now I have one. But also, I don't have any way to make creatures. But... I mean, we'll find, we can hopefully find ways to do that. We're on to play with the make this spear, so I kind of want to just keep this. What we'll player deserve to be, well, we have, we have a way to make creatures, I guess. On a white again? I think so. So we will play this on the white side for verdict. I don't know why my brain is operating on a... Uh, Her? I don't know what our opponent's on, but I mean, I'll take it, I guess. If we get to the point that we cycle this, and then we just start Luca down taking on him or transmogrifying them, or are we just against blue white? Okay, that makes 
significantly more sense. I've got nothing. Mirix is going to be the biggest downside for them is I'm actually going to be able to start presenting threats that they have to deal with. Because no matter how much life they gain, Mirix can always stop them from doing stuff. What's your plan? Invasion and intermix two Krakens. Okay. Um, I can't remember what deck this is. Getting auto pass through, but spell pierce will also blow us out. So that sucks. I think I'm going to need to do this multiple times and transmogrify also gets countered. But next turn I can play land transmogrify won't be able to get countered by spell pierce. Snap resolves. Okay. Do this. Go get my agent. Um, I can steal this. How does that work? Do I? Am I still the defender? Maybe if we get time here, we'll figure it out. We'll just take another. We'll take one of their blue sources. We tap it. Yep. Okay. The other reason we steal mana here is so that we can play land by Orion potentially and do it again. But I should be able to cycle Sokka's on by Yorion, uh, make another agent now that I have a Luka out. What is your plan for my agent of treachery? I think we're showing them a couple of cards they've not seen in a very long time. They're probably trying to dig it in. I definitely understand at this spot being like, what is happening? Guild of existence. What do we take? All right, makes the correct decision. You have to get rid of Luca because if you get rid of Agent and then you lose your seal, then it's all downhill from there. Uh, we can almost do it, but we cannot. So, Claire and Gondjo down. You can buy Yorion and almost do that as well. Transmogrify hits, or is it Luca that hits higher? Luca is what hits higher, but I don't really want to do that. So I buy Yorion and I'll hold up to make this peers emperor and all that nonsense and we'll just pass. I don't want them to ever flip it. It's not good spells you have convoke. Um, decks like this, I want to play around this card. If they ever flip it, you're in massive amounts of trouble. So we can't allow that to happen. We have to make this peers though to pretty much protect everything that we want to do. We can make another Mirix token. We can cycle Soka's on, which is uncounterable. And then we'll have to make this Piers on, almost on top of our Transmogrify. That is either a board wipe or an extra turn spell. So that doesn't vote well for us. Our turn. I will do this. I might play this Sokas on here so I can have make this Pierce double held up. Or I can exile this at some point, but we'll do this. Transmogrify this. Yep. If this is like a turn spell, we can always prevent it. So. We have something. Oh, it coming. Okay. Maybe I should have known that that's what they were doing, but I could very easily see that just being um, the turn spell when they're the Convoke deck. We'll just grab this. We're going to keep shutting them off of their color diversity here. Um, At this point, I am going to start trying to close. can soul partition one of our creatures if they have like a verdict here and then we can play an agent of treachery just hard cast it because you can't soul partition your own permanence and then they become just the cmc that they are i this one that game was weird because it feels like our opponent didn't do a lot but we were taking all their lands so they weren't really able to you know. it's gonna get really bad the next turn now Go first this is Giganta. Big screaming that it's sacrifice, so 
Oh, but we can keep this. We have an Omen of the Sea along with Make This Spirits, which is pretty good connecting uh, cards to work. Good tandem to work together. Where we hold up a counter spell, they do nothing. We play an Omen of the Sea. Oh, this could also be Boros. Um, obviously, Red White Land is Boros Brick, but um, Virtuoso. Whatever we call that. Nothing. Not playing into a counter spell. Gonna wait. So I'm gonna play an omen to see. Need another land. Flashing a creature. Maybe this is just convoke in general. Um, omen to sees to keep drawing cards. I think is fine. I'm down to draw both of these cards actually. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we can play a land here. We'll just play this on the white side. We don't want to play a fable. We want to keep our we want to keep our counter spell up. You have to be careful though, because if they convoke out spells with just using their creatures, then they'll have the mana available. There comes a Thopter. Sure. So right now they can play it for one. Yeah, uh, but we do get to counter this. You can see if they had like another Ornithopter there, they would be able to convoke it out and have two mana held up in that spot, which would be really, really bad for us. We have another make this appear, but I can't assume that it's going to make it through this time. Red, I think is where we want this to be. I mean, I could play to it. I do have Omen to see in a soul partition, but I do need tokens. So I think I'm gonna establish a fable. Could have played a wedding announcement, but I think Fable's good because it can also draw a card, which allows us to spend maybe an Omen of the Sea. I'd feel a lot better if I have a Supreme Verdict. Or make this fear would resolve, but I think I'm still... They had a Sacred Foundry. So, let's just assume that they would have played that correctly. I need to just for my mental... Uh, we'll submit these. I guess I could have probably offloaded the make this appear, but... If they are going to play lands after they put spells on the stack, I think we might just take the chance that they will play it wrong later as well. Um, We're going to buy a Yorion. We might need to 4-5. We have a Soul Partition and a Make Disappear, and we can counter anything up to 4 now. So, find ourselves in a much better spot than before. Loxodon has to actually enter the battlefield as well for them to get the counter. They take our entire turn off to do it. I think I'll feel fine about it. Tap your mana? I don't have a blue because Mirix holds his priority. God, I hate Mirix so much, dude. Oh my. Just FYI, Mirix comes in as a five color land, so Arena's client makes this stay on tap. So it tapped my blue mana for some reason. I'm so mad. I forgot. It's been so long since I've had to worry about it that I just... Now, now I'm like just dead next turn. I don't find a board wipe. Um... Yeah, we'll just do this, I guess. Um, am I slightly annoyed? Yes. Does it matter? No. We need to focus back up and get back into the game. We'll be fine. So we will do this. This has to mutate to do the thing that they want it to. So we're paying attention a little bit more to our land here. We have a soul partition to bounce whatever they try to target. Do this. And us having the Orion, maybe, just maybe, we can still crawl back into this game. Because our plan is if they try to mutate this and buff everything, we'll just soul partition whatever they target. Please put it on your locks, Don. 
So it should work if we soul partition this. This will just enter the battlefield and it won't get the mutate trigger. So everything stays small. And they just don't attack at all. They don't even attack their flyer. Maybe they're tilted. I went from extremely tilted to like maybe I can actually win this game. So that's kind of cool for me. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, we'll do this. Can these mutate on top of each other? Whenever this creature mutates to undercurrent, get a 2 1. Um, we're gonna hold back. These will re enter. I think we have to take this because if I'm not mistaken, if they mutate onto this with the mutate creature, everything will get a 4 1. So, we're definitely gonna take that and get it out of the way. More wandering emperor is probably good for us. Now we have built up a pretty substantial wall. And then we'll have an emperor along with a make this spear that can kick for a lot. And there it is. So I don't think I'm mistaken. I think that's how that would work. But we have a lot of we have a lot of toughness that we get to throw in front of a lot of these bodies here. I think we're really gonna get through is this six five. Uh I'm down to trade this off with something if it trades. And jump here and then here and then we'll take nine which is tough definitely tough but i think that makes sense i mean i don't know if i even need this agent anymore don't wait till end of turn yeah maybe it held, hold on having the agent held around for later is fine we have wandering emperor to exile stuff now we actually have two so we'll play on this on the white i don't even want to count um and we'll just we'll hold for a combat trick don't nope, generally play any burn so we should be fine um what if we do this play this we minus two and we counter spell this casualtying this yeah, okay. So, I almost lose the game because I tilted because Mirix made me mad, but we end up crawling back in and actually winning, so. Don't, don't tilt, don't mold is the lesson. All right, we're going to talk about the deck a little bit. A little bit shorter of a uh, talk today. I definitely want to try this again. We used to play um, Fires of Invention, um, and we don't now. I saw a list. This was posted on Goldfish. It we end up going like 5-2 in a Pioneer Challenge, which is pretty good. Like overall, just maybe had a tough break or something. But they end up going 5-2. and two. And I think they placed 21st, which being 5-2 and getting 21st is pretty high. Or shows that there's like a lot of people in the event. So that's pretty good for Pioneer in general. However, we tried this list out. The reason that we do this is we get Fable. We get wedding announcement kind of over the fires of invention and then we get to interact with our opponent a little bit more by cutting out fires only the c was normally played in either version no matter what just because you kind of needed to and then something like a make this appear would get played as well but you didn't want to play a whole lot of copies of this because fires does not allow you to cast spells on your opponent's turn i can actually i'll just pull it up um here i go this eyes fire them Vincent. yeah so i didn't know exactly what it was so you may cast spells during your turn you may i cast no more than two spells each turn you may cast spells with mana value less than or equal to the number of lands you control so a lot of times you would play this you'll wipe the board and then like next turn you'll either cheat out you'll cheat out an agent but you can buy Yorion and play it because you don't have to use your mana. So you spend the three mana to buy Yorion and then you just play it. So I definitely probably want to come back and try that version again. I haven't played it in a long time, but when I played Pioneer, it's one of the first decks I kind of started playing. But we kind of sacrificed that to play things like Soul Partition, Make This Fear, Spite, and Omen to See at instant speed along with the Wandering Emperor. That's a lot of cards to shut off. We're still able to cycle Shark Typhoon because it doesn't stop you from doing abilities, but because we don't play Fires, we get to play all these cards and not feel necessarily bad about playing them. 
Emperor makes our tokens for Transmogrify and Luca, and then also Omen the Sea doesn't make anything, but it's a good draw card and flickerable effect for Yorion. Soul Partition is pretty good to pick up anything that we find troublesome or need to be picked up. We can also actually protect our own things with this, so if we play an agent, they try to exile it or something, we can always Soul Partition it, and if it's a matchup where agents taking our opponent's lands, then we probably have the lands to replay this. So we most likely will bounce this and then replay it, steal another land, kind of just work that angle on our opponent. Make the spear is fine. It does pretty much everything we want. We get to make a lot of tokens, so a lot of times it's countered for four. Only problem is they used I think I don't remember what this used to be. I think sometimes they would play sensor in this spot. That could be wrong, and the reason you would do that is so you can cycle to draw cards later. Especially whenever you are on the fires plan where you can't really hold on to it too much. Um, and Volcanic Spite, just a solid spot removal that can put our agent back on the bottom of our library so we can cheat it out later. Um, one thing, I don't know if it would be worth it, but I kind of want something like a Memory Deluge or just something to look at a lot of cards. Because it feels like we are kind of on top deck mode a lot of the times, which is true if you look at the list. We need Fables to kind of cycle with draw for us. Wedding announcement can every now and then. And then we're pretty reliant on Omen of the Sea in that spot. Whereas, like, later in the game, if we can just have a Memory Deluge in our deck, we can play it and then play it again from the graveyard and just constantly filter our hand when our opponent's not doing anything. But other than that, Important things to note on the side is we do have Hall of Storm Giants as a win condition in some of the matchups that are a little bit slower. Uh, we do play a... I'm going to pull them over here. We do play... We play an Ganjo, We play an Odawara, Sokazan, and then we play the... Oh, it's the Hall that's two of I thought it was another one of the channel lands, but it's not. And three Mirixes. So these are like the utility lands that you kind of end up playing. Um, Mirix is pretty good against control and by itself it makes it hard for them to stop So like you can just win that way and as soon as they start having to answer this That's when you open up a window for agent But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the deck. I plan on playing it again potentially um, Just with fires of invention instead to kind of see how that compares to the way this list is played out So hope you all enjoyed and I'll catch you around in the next one